we're going to do some deep retrospective questions as well as some basic ones today, I think. So, the first one is going to be, what is the biggest mistake your character has ever made? That's hard. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say maybe trusting too much in certain people. Okay. Like in, in the town that she was in. Right, yeah, I can agree with that. Any specific people? Um, not really. I think just people she would have thought of as friends. Okay. And would have thought of, would have stood up for her, but then didn't. They just turned their back on her, yeah. Okay. Yes. For sure, for sure, okay. Here's a fun one to explore that I'm going to explore with the other two next time we have a session. What is your character's scent? Scent. Um, I think she would smell like the woods, like leaves, mm -hmm. nature, nature, right? Um, like moldy leaves, unfortunately, okay. probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. Yeah. Sort of the, uh, the gist that was getting. Uh, all right. Let's see. Question number three. Okay, here's a fun one that I always like asking. What currently is your character the most curious about? Her visions. Mm, that is a good one. That is a good one. And with that, we will welcome everyone back to the War of an Aaron's Yay. Children. Woo! <laughs> with Lindy playing Rowena. It's me. Who last time we left off, uh was somewhat associated with something of a cult, I would dare say. Probably. Something close to Seems a cult. Seems that way. <laughs> Looks like it. We kidnapped a child who is now with yes. us. In a kind way. In a very, yeah, you know? we were very cordial about it. I'll give you that. We were very... <laughs> we, co we kidnapped her very cordially. Yes. Treated her much nicer than we did, like, uh, Theo and uh, Augury, so... Yes. We get... We get bonus points there for doing that um all right so you are in the temple once again you mm -hmm. are i assume that rowena would probably stay close to yuna yes in most situations yeah okay i i'd assume so um and about a week has passed. You've been showing the temple, and uh, I'd say you're probably sitting by Rowena, either playing a game or participating in some kind of activity, when Todrick comes over to you, and he says, Rowena? Todrick? Could we have a private chat? I suppose. Very well. Follow me back to my quarters, and we can talk. He follows. All right. So you enter Todrick's private quarters. He sits behind a desk and gestures for you to take one of the seats in front of it. I do. He says, We have a problem. What is the problem? It seems that one of my brothers has fled south. To retrieve troops from a foreign nation, which is good for us, it buys us time. I believe we have one of the largest forces at this moment, but I don't want to risk losing any of them over senseless violence, which I fear my other brother Darren is going to engage in quite quickly if he finds this place. I can see that. I have reason to believe that Darren is mobilizing troops towards this location. And I want you to evacuate do? everyone as quickly as possible. 
All right. I, I think it's in our best interest that we all split up. Okay. Part of the army goes here. Some of us go there. Everyone else heads here, you know? Yes. Spread us out. Give us a good uh, scope of things, in a sense. That sounds about right. I wanted to gauge whether you would want to take the girl with you or not. I would. You would? Yes. I assure you it would be no trouble for me to give her to one of the other troops if it's too much for you. Don't want any undue pressure on one of my wisest advisors. I have a relationship with the girl. You do. Good. Then you'll flee the further south. And you'll head to the town of Ratter. I want you to keep her there. And I... You will be contacted when you're needed again. Just for the moment. Right. Go down to Ratter. I have a home there. Here's the keys. You keep her there. And if anything goes wrong, or you feel like maybe some of Darren or Fran Francis' of troops have showed up to take her, we have a abandoned warehouse that we can keep her in for the time being. The guards know where it is, but I won't send any guards with you to keep you from looking suspicious. All right, so they'll meet me there? Yes, they'll be in the town. And, uh, okay. you'll know, you'll notice them. Definitely. All right. Um, yeah, for the time being, just stay in the house down in Ratter. Just treat her like your own. I will. Okay. Me and some other troops will head up to Beckinsdale. You can leave today if you wish, or you can leave whenever you feel best. Um... Me and the rest of the uh, troops that are coming with me are going to depart tomorrow. We're going to spread some agents throughout Vecna as well, so that we can get some information going. Sounds about right. I will leave immediately. Okay. While you're in Ratter, there's a man that I want you to meet down there. Who is this? His name is Shanku. He's... Shanku one of Darren's advisors. He was the previous queen's, my mother's, spy master. I see. He's agreed to meet with us, which I believe means he's willing to help us, and he may give us some information that we may need. Keep the girl away from him. I don't want him to see her. All right. We can trust him. We can trust him enough to talk to you, but not enough for him to see you enough. I understand. Hmm. So leave her home that day. Leave her with some soldiers. You know. I don't want Shanku to know her whereabouts. Because if he does, they're more likely to mobilize on Ratter. And then I don't want to have to send you any further south. Unless you end up in Donitia. Yes. And All on right. top of that, Francis will be souther as well, so I don't want you to have to end up running into him also. Yes, I wouldn't want that. This all sounds fine with you? Yes. Very well. Be careful navigating the forest. I've heard there's horrid things out there. <laughs> Not more horrid than me. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence. It'll serve us well. But, I'll let you tend to the girl. I'm sure she'll look forward to the trip that you're going on. Yes. I will go get her ready. Thank you, Rowena. Safe travels. Yes. May the Ancient Ones continue to bless you. And you. Thank you. And thus, you make your way out of the office, I'm assuming. Yes. To go see Rowena, okay. Or Yuna. You're Yuna. Rowena. You're Rowena. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My bad. 
Okay, so make your way back to Yuna, and she's sort of she's reading over one of the uh, texts that are scattered about this temple. She looks up Yuna. and goes, "Yes." We must uh, take a trip, I'm afraid. Oh. But it would be fun. What about the temple? We, we may have been compromised here. We need to move to stay safe. Okay. Where are we going? We are going to Ratter. Wow. I've never been, I've never been this far south before. It is quite lovely this time of year. Okay. When do you go get your things, and we'll head out immediately. Yes, ma'am. She stands up and makes her way over and starts packing up her things. I guess I would probably go and like pack up my things too. Yeah, yeah, presumably, yeah. And are you leaving this day? Or are you? Yes, I think wait? so. Okay, you think you're gonna just hop right on it? Okay, very well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you make your way out of the temple and you traverse East Hollow which is home to Rowena so it's not really a problem for her as it would be for some <laughs> some other who may have had to trek through these forests and you make your way down to the town of Jadina and in doing so you find wanted posters of you little sketches um does it have me with my mask or without with your mask yes okay and also a I sketch think... of the the little girl on, is on there as well as a missing person okay i would um take my mask off my god and uh walk through this area and maybe i'd make sure her hood is up and stuff like that okay yeah for sure for sure um, my headphone fell out. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think I missed anything. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I had barely started to speak. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're going to have you do here. Oh, I Since you're that? navigating through a dangerous area, you're trying to conceal your identity. Give me a deception roll. A deception roll, okay. Yeah. First roll of day. Here we go. It's going to set the tone for the rest of the session. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Deception's not great for me. <laughs> that is an 11. <laughs> okay. So, you, you notice some villagers definitely, like, looking at you and whispering to each other. And some of them kind of running off as if they're going to get someone. Um... Can I cast Pass Without a Trace and just try to be extra stealthy? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. God damn. All right, yeah, so let's let's roll stealth with your okay. plus 10 to it. <laughs> I find this would be very hard to fail, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, that's a 19. Okay. With that roll. Wait, with the plus with 10? The, with the plus 10. With the modifier. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, so. You successfully sneak out of Jadina at this point. Although you can definitely hear some people shouting about you and Yuna. That I was seen, okay. Yeah, someone definitely spotted you. But making your way down to Ratter, uh, you do not see any of the previously aforementioned wanted posters. Okay. Uh, in this city. So you're a bit safer. But Tatrick also didn't tell you where the house that you were going to is. Oh, great. So <laughs> you can maybe talk to someone in the tavern, try to find the guards that Tatrick mentioned that would be in this town. Um, it's up to um, you. I think I would maybe try to... Mm, that's pretty risky, I guess. I think I would go to a tavern. Okay. But I would have uh, Yuna maybe hide outside, like maybe in a stable or something. Okay. Yeah, we can we can do that. 
And you want to make your way into the tavern at this point? Yes. All right, so you make your way into the Flying Flute Tavern. There is a dwarf woman behind the desk, who, uh, behind the bar, who's obviously the innkeeper here. And there's some patrons sort of scattered about the uh, the bar, but none of them really stand out to you as being anything uh, special. Do I see, like, any guards in here? Um, Todrick's guards or just guards in general? Well, hopefully Todrick's guards. Right. Inside this tavern? No, you do not see. Okay. Any of Todrick's guard um, at this moment. I, so I am then able to tell the difference? You are, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I would go up to the bar. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to order a drink. And... Um... Would there be a phrase or anything that Todrick would use to determine allegiance, I guess? Um, I mean, you could throw out the uh, the Ancient Ones Bless slogan to kind of yes. gauge where someone stands on that kind of thing. Okay. Um, but it's okay, not really here, a deciding factor that. of who they side with, you know? Okay. Um, and I'm just going to speak to the innkeeper and I'm going to say, uh, yes, uh, is there anywhere someone could go to, um, pray to the ancient ones in this town? Around these parts? Well, uh, I know some of them, uh. Todrick followers came down not too many days ago. They set up shop in warehouse on the other side of town if you want to talk to them, maybe. I'm not I really see. a religious type myself, so. I understand. It's not for everyone. No, it's not. And they're kind of they're kind of treading hot water in this town. I mean, Ratter's uh, pretty supportive of Francis, all things considered. Everything yes, he's done yes. for this city. Francis has done so much for us. He has. That's, I don't think I've seen you around before. You new here? I am new here. Oh. Well, welcome to Ratter. Are you looking to stay here, or...? I'm just passing through for now. Oh, okay. Well, safe travels to you, then. Would you, uh... Thank you. Like anything off of our menu? Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Thank you. You sure? I mean, we got some really cool items on here, I'm not gonna lie. I, I haven't introduced I, myself to you. I apologize. And he extends his hand, or she extends her hand out to you at this point. He goes, name's Juka. Well, nice to meet you, Juka. Of course. And to you, your name? Oh, uh, I'm, uh, Delphina. Delphina? It's exotic. Are you from Dimeril? Uh, about there. Oh, okay. Well... I hope you enjoy Ratter as much as everyone who lives here does. And if you ever want something to drink or eat, come on by. Of course. Right. I think at this point I would um, leave. And uh, can I just make like a perception check or anything to see if anybody's following? Um. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um, that is an 11. So, you get the sense that you're being followed, but when you look behind you, when you look around and scan the area, you don't see anyone. But you get the sensation that you're being followed. Okay. Um, would people, like, wild shaping, is that, like, frowned upon at all? Or is that just normal? It's normal. Okay. Okay. I'm going to wild shape into a raven and fly away. Okay. <laughs> fly into some trees. Okay. And I'm just going to hang out for like 20 minutes. So I'll say this. While you're perched on the... Uh, perched on the tree, you suddenly feel the tree shake as you sense that someone landed in the tree. 
Okay. And you hear a voice go, How long are you planning on hiding up here? Who are you? Just a bandit with an interest. A bandit with mm -hmm. what interest? An interest in helping you out. Can I see the bandit? Yeah, yeah, you can look at him. Okay. What does uh, he look like? So it's a her. Okay. She, so, in, in the terms of her clothes, I'll send you a, a photo reference. This is not her. Okay. Um, but the, the clothing that this, this guy's wearing is pretty much the same as, uh, as what this girl's wearing in front of you right now. There you are. Bada bing, bada boom. So, sort of a, okay. a red bandana over the face, you know, and just a pretty standard bandit outfit, I would say. Minus the markings on the face, those are not there. And she's got, like, very, like, light blonde hair. Um, and the classic blue eyes, and she she's looking straight at you. Are you trying to steal from me? No. I'm trying to help. And what do you want? Help with what? Well, if you're willing to hear me out, I'll tell you everything you want to know. I'm listening. I've got an interest in this war. I think that when it ends, I could be in a higher position than I am now. Especially... If I help whoever our next king is. And your preference? Don't have one. But I'll help you. I see. For a fee. I see. Mm hmm And what kind of help can you offer? I'd serve as a great spy. And I already know exactly who to target. Who's that? Well, I know for a fact you were spotted a couple days ago in Beckinsdale, am I right? You visited Shalimar? Have you been keeping tabs on me? You've got a small girl with you from Ashbourne. Not sure what purpose she serves. I'm not really interested in that. But... I know that the opposition knows that you were in Beckinsdale. And once your opposition's advisor gets back, they're going to send her to Beckinsdale. I see. If you're willing to pay the fee, I'll be there to intercept her, gain her trust, and then I'll routinely send letters back to you and your king. And what is the fee? Well, we can start out with a little deposit. How much do you feel is appropriate? Oh, no, I don't play that game. You ask and I may pay. <laughs> well, I'm really putting my neck on the line here for you. It's a pretty high stakes job. You know, that Darren guy doesn't seem to be too kind. To the and yet that you're so him. trusting of me. Why shouldn't I be? Haven't seen you murder anyone yet. Anyone that didn't ask for it. And you weren't paying attention. Yeah? Look. How much is your fee? You know what, I'll start out cheap. Just because I can tell you're on the skimpier side of things. We'll do a hundred gold up front. And we'll keep a rate of a hundred gold. Mm -hmm. You only have to pay me every time I get information to you. And don't worry about us having to meet or anything like that. The information will get to you. I will pay your fee this time. <laughs> but if you cause any trouble for me, 
You won't like it. The same goes for you, my dear new employer. How should I refer to you? Mm. You don't Cross. seem the, the type to be called by your name. Cross it is, then. Do you just want my last name, then? Yes. Very well. Young blood. <laughs> and did you know? You know my name? Yes. Been following you and your troop for a great couple months now. My warning stands. And I return it. But we have a um, deal then? Out of character. Go ahead. Um, I would have a hundred gold. Yeah, most certainly. Okay. Probably from the king, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Yep, yep. You're all good on that front. Awesome. Despite how poorly an Aaron treated her children, she did not keep the royal funds from them. So Okay. None of these boys are uh, poor in any sense of the word. Yes. I am um, wild sheep. Well, come out of wild sheep and give her the hundred gold. There we are. You see, and just like that, you and yours are going to get ahead in the war. We shall see. Look forward to working together, Miss Cross. See ya. She drops down from the tree at this point and disappears from your sight. Um, I go to the stable and try to find Yuna. She is there. And so is Miss Youngblood. Do you see them playing rock, here? paper, scissors at the moment? I was just entertaining the girl while you were away. Get away from her. <laughs> Very well, Miss Cross, you're in charge. I'm afraid your mother doesn't like us playing together. She starts backing up from Yuna. I was about to win, Rowena. Well, then I guess I saved Yuna from a loss. Well, I'm just, like, dead-eyeing her. <laughs> I'll let you two do what you do. I'll just be on my way. She moses out of the stable at this point. Yuna goes, Are you... Who was that? It was a bandit. She was nice. She, will, she wants to help us, but I am not sure if we can trust her. Only time will tell, I suppose. Yes. Where are we going now? I, are we staying we in the stable? Go. We're going to see if we can find a warehouse where my friends might be. Okay. I'd like that. And then I, th I think I would like, kind of, go on the outskirts of town looking for a warehouse. All right, give me that sweet, sweet perception check. And or investigation, whichever you prefer. Okay. We're gonna do perception. Okay. And we got a thirteen. Okay, most excellent. Yes, you are able to find the warehouse. You see some of Todrick's soldiers you're able to recognize them by a excuse me sigil that no one else outside of the war would recognize excuse me okay. by this point you're free um, to mosey on up to them I think I would just walk right up to them and how goes it Rowena good to see you made it safely yes uh, I'm unsure of where the safe house is but I was told that this location was... This is certainly one of them. I can escort you if you'd like. Yes, that would be great. Very well. Are we secure here? Yes, yes. They'll hold it down while I'm gone. Good. Shall we? Yes. Very well. He leads you to a nice, uh, ni nice little house. It's a little bit on the outskirts of Radder. Uh, it's well kept. You know, well put together. There's a garden. Um, and once you're let inside, it's a very spacious home. Multiple, uh, about two bedrooms. 
Uh, one bath has like a living area, and you've got a kitchen. And yeah, you are led into the house. The soldier sort of ushers both of you in, and then goes back to his post. Okay. I think I would uh basically tuck Yuna in at this point. Mm-hmm. It's like, how long are we gonna have to stay here? Um, for as long as it's safe. Very well. Whatever it takes for the greater good. Are you okay, Yuna? Mm-hmm. Here with me. Yeah. Good. We're doing what's right. Right? Yes. Then yes, I am fine. And then I'd like... Maybe kiss her on the head and then leave her. Oh, ain't that <laughs> sweet? Put my freaky deer mask back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freak. Are you Are you going to go into your transient state? I think I will. Yeah. Okay. So you head into your transient state, and instead of a vision of the future at this point, you find yourself in a black liminal space. Okay. And um, the floor is, like, watery, I'll say, about up to your ankles. Okay. And you suddenly hear a voice speak to you. Miss Cross, is it really that time again? Who is that? You sort of look around, you're not really seeing anyone. He's like, you know who I am, deep down, everyone does. A light illuminates a section of this liminal space, and you see a man in a teal suit standing in front of you. Okay. And... To what do I owe the honor of this meeting? Just a little checking in on how things are going with you and Todrick. In what respect? Your progress on saving the planet. Well... We are still in the war. Hmm. And how do you feel it's going? I'm unsure. Hmm. I see. Well, just checking in. What is your wishes are. for this war? My wishes. My wishes are irrelevant, as are anyone's wishes in the grand scheme of things. Yes. Things only truly matter to my benefactors. Your benefactors? Yes. Do they... Are they gods? Beyond that, I would dare say. I see. More powerful than even the gods could comprehend. Do they have a message for me? Not at this time, Rowena. I understand. How have you been finding your visions? Confusing. Hmm. They can be that. Are they consistent, at least? They differ from visions of others that others have had. Hmm. I do not know what it means. That is curious. To say the least. 
Perhaps. What does it mean? Hmm? What does it mean to you? I only want you to get better with your skill of honing your visions, Rowena. So that you may be a more prime asset to us. I see. I believe the morning light's calling you. I will not keep you from your day. Best of luck, Rowena. Thank you. Unless you return to a state of awakeness. The morning light shines in through the windows. You can hear um, Yuna rustling around in her room at this current moment. Like normal wrestling? Normal wrestling, yeah. Nothing okay. concerning. Yeah, you were like, oh god, here we go. I think I would go and like make breakfast for us. Okay. Anything in particular? Um, pancakes? <laughs> Ooh. Choice. Choice. Yes. Yes. Yuna comes out and goes, Do you want any help? Uh, sure. Let's do it. Thus she helps you make the pancakes. Nice. Alright, so I'm just hiding out here. Yeah. From what I understand. Yes. Yeah. You are... In a way, you're sort of having to build a false life so that no one gets suspicious, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're free to do what you want. You can look for work if you so choose, or... I think I would, like, work around the house, like, possibly start gardening. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, Excuse I me. might make up, like, tinctures and stuff like that okay to sell i would just like sell randomly i don't think i would go to a storefront or anything mm -hmm. yeah would you maybe want to get a, like a stand at the market maybe um yes maybe okay yeah you can do that okay yeah yeah for yeah. sure so you have your stand yeah, there, there's presumably booths for rent at the yeah. at the market, and you get one of the booths and set it up. Is there anything certain you'd like to call your your shop? Um, Delfina's Herbs. Okay. Okay. Writing that down. <clears throat> So, you've had a successful day of selling your tinctures. Um, go ahead and give yourself... How much would you say you charge for these? Just a, as a um, jumping off point. Not a crazy amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, 30 silver? I don't okay. have any concept of money in this place. That's right. So. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's assume you made 240 gold today. Okay. So you can give yourself that. And as you're like sort of, you know, toning things down, closing up shop, uh, a person walks by and just kind of drops a, and I would say this is maybe like, assuming you've been staying in the town for a while, you've probably taken a little bit to set up shop. We'll assume maybe a month has gone by, presumably. Okay. Um, but some person, you're not able to eye them or get any, any idea of who they are or anything like that, just throws a envelope onto your, your table and walks away. Okay. I would open it. Okay. Make a constant, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you open it and it, it is from Miss Youngblood. And she is letting okay. you know that she has seen the fall uh, the following people. She's seen Shanku, Cyprin, and Cyprin's wife Theo all head out west to Gla uh, to Hakai, the country beyond the mountains. 
Okay. And that she's not sure why they would be heading that way. But they're heading that way. Okay, and Shanku is someone who I was supposed to contact, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, would I have any means of contacting Podrick? I'm going to go out on a limb, uh, a limb here and say that, he gave, that you guys probably have, like, calling stones. Okay. That you could reach each other through. I think I would call him the next time I'm alone. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe back at the house yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And inform him of what I found out. Okay. And ask for instructions if I should pursue. Hmm, okay. Huh. Okay. So Todrick, he sort of... He kind of thinks about it for a moment. He's, he thinks, well... If you do go over there... You can't take the girl. Of course. Hakai is a... Especially, depending on where they go, um, could be entirely too dangerous for her. If they head over to, like, let's say, Seui, for example. But I'm not against you tailing these three. Where would the girl stay? She could stay at the warehouse with the soldiers. Or maybe you've befriended someone in Ratter. They could babysit for a while while you go out of town, perhaps. I will investigate. Okay. And I will find somewhere to leave the girl. Very well. Keep the good work, Romina. We're growing stronger by the day up here. So... Good. All right. Um, would I be able to create a sending stone? Is that something I can do? I don't know if I can do that. Let me do some reading real quick. Well, that's helpful. I looked it up. Our exact question. And the first answer is, talk to your DM about it. <laughs> so, yes, you can. If it's okay. up to me, yes, you absolutely can. <laughs> okay. I'm going to create a sending stone. Um, and I'm going to go talk to Yuna. Okay. Um, Yuna, I, I have to leave for a time. Oh? And yes. I can't come with you? You cannot come with me. But, it is far too dangerous. But what about the greater good? That is what I'm trying to work towards. But I have to stay here? Yes. I do not want you getting hurt. Okay. I've created a sending stone. And she gives her the stone. Oh. Which, ideally, I'd have the pair of. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that you can contact me if you're in trouble or if you need help. Okay. Um, Who am I going to I stay need... with? I think I would like you to stay with the guards. Todrick's guards at the warehouse. Okay. But if you'd rather stay somewhere else... You don't think Just they'll be suspicious know. of that? Suspicious? Yeah. Why? I know that this town doesn't really like Mr. Todrick. And I see. if I stay with their soldiers, maybe they won't like me. That is a good point. Perhaps you'd like to stay with the innkeeper. Yeah, I like Mr. Juka. We shall go speak to her. Okay. And, you know, just kind of follows you to the end at this point. Okay. 
<laughs> he goes, ah, she goes, after a month, I knew you couldn't resist any longer. Surely you're here to buy some food now, right? Uh, yes, maybe something for the girl. Okay. How would she like some stewed onions? They're good. They're really good. Or, we do have some crack and tenderloin. What do you think, Yuna? Um, can I have both? <laughs> of course you can have <laughs> yes. both. Yes, you can have both. Yes, absolutely. I'll get the cook started right on it. Um, Juka. Yes? May I ask a query of you? Of course, Delphina. That's what innkeepers are for. May I... May I have you no lodged here for a time? And could you keep an eye on her? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, Perhaps she can help here and there. Yeah, we could always use another help and hand around here. How would you like to work in an inn, Miss Yuna? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Well, Delphina's I gone. Good job. Good job, Ida. <laughs> um, I kind of, like, lean aside so that Yuna can't really hear. Like, mm -hmm. not so much that I don't want Yuna here. It's more just, like, I don't want anybody in to hear. Yeah. And I want the illusion of Yuna not wanting, me not wanting Yuna to hear. Okay. Um, that uh, perhaps you can keep her a bit under the radar. Yeah. Looking in the back and such. Her uh, parents had a nasty split and the custody battle is just horrendous. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Yeah, I can definitely do that, Delfina. And you can just Thank you. pay me for the stay when you get back. Thank you. Of course. Safe travels, wherever you're going. Yes. And I kind of like lean down to Yuna and say, you be good, all right? Yes, ma'am. And if you have any trouble, just message me on the sending stone. Yes, ma'am. Good. Stay safe. And I guess I would head out. All right, thus you're off. Now are you going to try to head over to Glad Tadia and see if you can get like the tracks of... Who you're trying to follow, yes. or okay? Yeah. I'm assuming you're wild shaping to do this. Uh, yes, I can wild shape. Okay. Probably a raven. Okay, so you That's wild shape noticeable. as a raven mm -hmm. and fly across the country <laughs> to Hokkaido. <laughs> uh. So I'm just gonna. You know what? Here's what we'll do. doesn't give me a fucking answer. Ooh. That does. Okay. So. Making your way to Hakai. You land in... I have to look up what this place is like because it's not listed in... not listed on the map yet because we don't have an updated map yet. Oh, uh, this is not real. This is what I get for making a world. It'll teach me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I'll I'll say that you land in the region of Seiwui. Okay. Excuse me. And you're able to overhear some of the locals talking about some foreigners who had come over to talk to the, the warlord here, who is Abbas al Hakai. And in doing such, this is also a climate that your character would not be used to as well. Hakai is a desert. Hey. Cactuses, you know, sand, the whole shebang. And yeah, so you hear the locals talking about these foreigners coming over that they're going to meet the warlord Abbas. 
And you're able to pretty quickly discern where that would be because the castle that Avis stays in is not humble. It's very noticeable okay. from <laughs> miles away. So this is once again a scene that Leslie played out in her okay. her session. So I'm going to summarize a lot of stuff here. Uh, assuming that you're flying over to the castle to listen in on what they're talking about. Yes, I think I would. Okay, so to give you the too long didn't read version of what happens, uh, Cyprin is sort of requesting of the warlord to send over troops to support Darren's cause in Dimeral. And while she's doing that, uh, her wife kind of chimes in and tells this warlord to go fuck himself, which humors the warlord. And he actually ends up granting Darren 10,000 Hakaian soldiers. Okay. And then Cyprin and uh, her, her wife and Shanku all leave at this point. Okay. Hmm. So this warlord. Mm-hmm. Um... He's probably really big and strong, hey? <laughs> oh, 10,000 percent this guy. <laughs> yeah. He sucks. He kicks ass, but. Okay. Um. I think I would. Go. Somewhere I could, be discreet and. Talk to, Todrick. Okay. About the 10,000 soldiers. Very well. Uh, you you find a spot. To hide out at the moment. Okay. Uh, Todrick. Yes, Rowena. I have just intercepted a conversation where 10,000 soldiers from Hakai, from the warlord Abyss, is promised to Darren. My god. Okay. That certainly puts him in a better position than he was but not an impossible one for us to conquer yes have you spoken with Shanku yet no I have not I will locate him and speak to him at once okay do it discreetly Cyprin yes. and whoever else is over there doesn't need to know about this yes good report back to me right. once you've spoken to him of course Thank you, Rowena. And I think I would turn back into a crow and maybe follow, see if I can follow Cyprin, mm -hmm. and then back to hopefully Shanku. So, following Cyprin, Theo, and Shanku, they proceed to a hotel where they get a single room. Okay. On the first floor of the hotel. Okay. Um, I imagine they gotta sleep at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. They do, in okay. fact, gotta do that. Okay. Um, so I think I would wait till they're sleeping. And then... Can I locate their room through a window? Yes. It's like, their window to their room? Yes, absolutely. And, uh... Where is Shanku? Shanku... I believe he'd actually be sitting up awake looking at the window. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to fly to the window and just like kind of like look at him and cock my head and see if that's enough to get his attention. He like raises his hand similar to how the Ancient Ones followers would whenever they say Ancient Ones bless. Yeah. I think I'll like flap my wings and like nod my beak a little bit. He sort of points towards the outside and then starts walking towards the door of the room. Okay. And then, yeah, I would probably kind of wait outside for mm -hmm. him in, like, a grove of trees or something. Yeah. And he makes his way out there. He's stood in his usual robes and he just kind of waits. I, uh... I go to him and I'm presumably not wild shaped anymore. Okay. Um, and Shanku. Ah. You must be 
the strange one that's been spoken about so much lately. I guess you could describe me that way. I gotta find yes. Shanku's voice. He's a lizard person. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, well. I had promised your king, Tadric, that I would meet with you. Yes. You are tra traveling with advisors to Darren, I see. That is correct. I am an advisor of Darren myself. But, but do you support Tadric? I am not delusional to how things may go. I see. And Do I simply have... wish to consummate my place in Understand. the throne room with whatever king comes to power. Do you have information about Darren and his forces? Well, he has 10,000 troops, currently, off of the ones that Hakai gave to us today. I see. He has the King's Guard at his side, and he plans to gain favor with the North. I see. The houses of Silver Peak and Ashbourne and so on. I understand. Is there any weaknesses you've seen? Francis's army is setting up in the south. Of Vecna. Setting up a siege there. So, if I was to advise your King Todrick, I would tell him to attack from the north. Sandwich Darren's army in between two forces. Then, after they're wiped out, the remaining forces can battle it out, or the two kings can seek peace. I see. I will take this back to my employer. We are most gracious. Hmm. I have to warn you. My spies know about the girl. She, like, stiffens. They know where the girl is. And I'll warn you this as well. I've already spoken to Darren about the child. He's not afraid you, of outright killing her. You what? And her, like, eyes kind of glow green. I have to tell Darren the truth, my lady, to keep my own head. What are they going to do? For the moment, nothing. If I can, I'll sway him into letting Cypern go down there by herself. We'll be far too strained by the time we get back from Akai. There'll be no chance. And if things work out as they should, Cypern will live and she will not attain the girl. And the girl will live. I see. I just want you to be weary of the fact that Darren doesn't mind killing her. I understand. He'll kill anyone that stands in his way. He's made that abundantly clear. Especially after what happened in Ashbourne. What happened in Ashbourne? You haven't heard of the executions up there? Who did they execute? Tadric followers. And anyone who wouldn't swear fealty to Darren. Of course they did. Yes. I know that I should support Darren, but I fear how things would be if he was to attain the throne. I think we all should. Yes, I'll take your insane king over him any day. <laughs> Insanity is a gift given to few, Shank. Well, I should have assumed that you would be just as insane as Tadric is. <laughs> but I wanted to warn you so that you may protect the girl, should it come to it. I must go. Very well, then. I will return to my room. I wish you safe tra travels, Lady Rowena. You as well. Thank you. 
I think I, I would go and immediately go to the setting stone. Yeah. Um. To Todrick, I think. Okay. And I would say, Todrick. I didn't expect Aaron to hear knows, from you so soon. Darren knows about Yuna. What does he know? He knows where she is. Can we move her? We can't move her from Radar. Why not? We'll just have to strengthen the security. It's too risky. She could get intercepted on the way to anywhere else. If we send her south, Francis gets her. And if we send her north, Darren gets her. She won't be safe in Hakai. We can't afford to move her to any other country at this moment. Did I return to her? Get back there as quickly as you can. Protect the girl. Yes. Um, she is one of the most important things on our side at this moment. Shanku had some thoughts. I'm listening. Uh, and I tell him about the troops that he has, the Kingsguard and, and stuff, and that he's, he's planning to get the northern territories to join him. That certainly would help him. Shanku suggests we form an army in the north and attack him from there. Wouldn't be a bad idea since Francis seems to be coming up from the south. Yes. Hmm. As long as we can trust Shanku. He seemed like he wanted us to win more than Darren, at least. But I can't speak for Francis. Excellent. Very well. Proceed back to Ratter. Stay there until I can give you word otherwise. Yes. I will go. Very well. And thus she heads off. Back to Ratter. Yes. All right. So. I'm assuming you wild shape once more to fly yes, yourself probably. back to Ratter. I was going to say, I hope we're not trekking because this does cut your travel time in half. So It does. It does really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you can like hide out on ships. It's mm -hmm. good. This would typically, for Cypern and Shanku and all of them, this was a two year trip for you. Jesus. Just a year trip. <laughs> okay. So, you finally arrive back in Ratter. Town looks normal, as far as you can tell. Um, I would go to the inn immediately. Oh. Delphina. Yes. So glad Delphina you're back. Here. Yes, and your your sister showed up as well. My sister? Mm-hmm. She came from Beckinsale? She said you hadn't been responding to her letters. She's with uh, Yuna right now. Oh, yes. I think I know who this is. I, I think I I should have expected a visit from my sister, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, they're in the back they're, if you want to go see they're them. They're in the back. Mm hmm Thank you. You go I'm back there. I'm assuming it's Youngblood. You but... go back there and Miss Youngblood is okay. cooking with Yuna at this point. Yuna's a year older now, so she's 11. Or is she 12? She's 11, yeah. Yuna. How are you? It's so good to see you again. You're back. Yes. I'm doing good. Me and this nice lady were just cooking, preparing dinner uh, for the patrons. Yes. My sister. That's me. Don't we look alike? <laughs> uh, you didn't hear from me, I suppose. I did not. I began to worry. Especially with all the information I was sending you. I had some business to attend to. What information do you have? Well, Darren got word back from his friends over in Hakai. They're 10,000 soldiers deep now. Yes. Unfortunately, I was aware of that. Yes. Ah, I see, I see. Well... I figured I owed you another visit before things continued to make sure you're satisfied with my services. Yes, I 
I'm satisfied at the moment. Good. I suppose I should I... head back to Beckinsdale before they start questioning Shalimar without me there. Shalimar? Yeah. Given that he saw him you. For what? Shalimar is the one who saw me. Mm hmm. I see. And they're going to. I'm assuming, based off of the things I've been hearing around the castle, I've been posing as a maid the last couple months. It seems. They're going to send Cypern out there. I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Get in close with her. Make her trust me. And then. <laughs> I'll have someone directly next to King Darren to siphon Good. information from. Um, but I must say, my pockets are feeling a little light since the last time we talked. You can have more gold. Wonderful. And I give her a hundred more gold. <laughs> like, yes. She pockets it. She goes, thank you. Miss Cross. You are questioning Shalimar immediately. Hmm? Me? I suppose it would... Yes. Oh, no. No. Darren's people will be. Cypher, Darren's hopefully. People. I'll be waiting in Beckinsdale. I see. To intercept. See what Shalimar tells him. Is there anything you would like for me to do? With Shalimar? No. He'll be a source of information for them. Um, no, that's fine. Okay. Thank you for your offer. Of course, <laughs> of course, anytime. But I should probably be I, getting north if I want to catch them. I should probably head back as well. Yeah. Well, be seeing you then, Miss Cross. Yes. At this point, and I guess exits. Go ahead. I'm going to head back to our little house. Okay. I suppose. Yeah. Yuna goes with you. Assuming, yeah. yeah. Okay. How was your year while I was away? It was good. Your two years. <laughs> I met, it was just a year. I met a lot, of, a lot of nice people during that time. I really liked working in the end. It was nice. That's good. Perhaps you can continue if... Nothing changes. I would like that. I like um, that a lot. And I guess I'm gonna like check with uh, Todrick's guards and see if there's like extra people there, like he said. Yeah. So. Okay. You go ahead and head over there, and the guard you talked to previously is there. He goes, Rowena. Yes. What can I do for you? Uh, the guard is doubled. Yes, we have several more soldiers inside of the warehouse. Good. Should we be worried, Miss Rowena? Yes, we should be worried. Very well, then. There is talk of an imminent, imminent attack. Understood. <laughs> we will... Keep our guard up, then. Yes. We will be in the house. Of course, my lady. Yes. Don't forget, you have a stand to run. Of course. Just so things don't get suspicious. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I think as I'm walking back to the house, I'm going to talk to Yuna again. Okay, yeah. Yuna, we may be in danger immediately. What kind of danger? Um, some people want to come and retrieve you. Mm. Darren's people. Oh. Do you know who King Darren is? Yes. Yes, he wants you for some reason. Todrick told me that he hurt a lot of people in Ashbourne. Yes. He's not a nice man. No? No. 
Okay. I suggest that we create the house as a decoy and we retreat into the woods for a time. Like now? Yes, I will still go to the stand in town, but you will stay at a second residence that only I know about. Why don't I just stay with the guard? I don't trust anyone, Yuna. Not in these times. But they're Todrick's men. They're our friends. We have to trust them. They're all we have. We can, we can hope that they are our friends, yes. They haven't done but anything even to they hurt might not be able to. S- it's not that they might hurt you, it's that they may not be strong enough to stop what's coming. Are you and strong enough case, to stop what's coming? Well, I hope I'm smart enough, Yuna. You seem worried, Miss Rowena. War is not a nice time. Is there something I should be afraid of? Perhaps King Darren. You think he wants to hurt me? I think he wants to hurt everyone. Oh. I don't think we should back down, Miss Rowena. No. I think we should stand tall in the face of danger. It's like the teaching say by the ancient ones. Hinar would have never backed down. Why should we? It is not backing down. It is being smart. Do you have a place we can go to in the forest? I can make one. How long will that take? Well, it may not be extremely comfortable. Mm -hmm. But just a little while. Okay. But I still trust the guards. That's okay. Okay. Can we stay here tonight? I I suppose we could stay here one more night. Yay. Do I still get to work at the inn? Perhaps in a little bit of time. Perhaps a week or so. We can relax. Okay. I'll stay in the woods for a week. Okay. Okay. All right. What are we doing next? I guess I'm going to work on a second place in the woods. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And yeah, that's as far as I, and I guess I'm just like still going to town. Mm hmm. And basically, like, just a second place that nobody knows about that we can run to. Okay. Is the plan. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So at this point, uh, we're just going to go through an average day for Rowena. Okay. So what does she do at the start of the day? Um, probably make breakfast for Yuna. Okay. Um, do so. Work on the products and then sell in the town for a little while. Okay. Um, maybe during that time, Yuna can come to the inn as well. Okay. And Sounds then like probably in the evening I would go work on that second house kind of thing. Okay. Sounds like Safe a Safe house, basically. All right. Hidden. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alrighty. So. You are... I, I'm going to say you're able to keep this up. For how long do you think it takes you to build the house? Would you say? Probably about. Like uh, it's not a very big house. I'd say like it's just like a small little cabin with a mm-hmm. fake entrance kind of thing. Right, right. Um, maybe like three weeks. Okay. So yeah, Something you like get that. it built. Things are going fine. And. I'll say another year passes. Okay. 1304. You're what, 38 years old now? Yeah. Yuna's... Actually, yeah, Yuna's 12. You just celebrated her birthday. The wonderful little day. You're having a grand old time, and suddenly you get a call on the sending stone. You can hear Todrick's voice coming through to you. Hey? Rowena. Todrick. Listen. I need you to uh, make your way up north very quickly. Uh, what has happened? You need to come to Beckinsdale. All right. Leave the girl. Bring the girl. Leave the girl. Wild shape and get here as quickly as you can. Leave the girl with the guards. Will she be safe here? Yes, of course she will be. Why am I... That's why we're leaving her with the guard. Not just leaving her out in the home or wherever else. Just take her to the warehouse and let her stay with the guards. It'll be a quick... All right. It won't even take a day if you just get here and we are, we're able to discuss things in person. Yes. All right. I'll come. Very well, then. Um, I turn to Yuna. Mm-hmm. Yuna. Yes? I must go north to Beckinsdale. Beckinsdale? Um, yes, um... And I can't come with you again? You can't come with me now. Oh. Okay. You... You could stay with the guards. Okay. Or you could stay in the house. The safe house. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll leave it up to you, but know that if anything happens, you can run to the safe house. And you can call me on my sending stone. Very well, then. All right. Should I leave you with the guards, then? Yes, I'll, I'll go to them. Okay. Be Stay safe, Rowena. Safe. I'll try. You too. Okay. Okay. And thus you wild shape and head to Beckinsale? Ah, uh, yes. Very well then. Heading to Beckinsale, you find a, a pretty significant Todrick force already up there. And hey. uh, presumably you're just going to look for Todrick, yeah? Yeah. All right, so asking around, the guards sort of direct you to where Todrick is, and he's sat behind the desk at this point in in a small, small house that they've obviously occupied. He goes, oh, thank the ancient ones you made it. What's happened? The north has sided with Darren. Which means if we attack from the north, we'll be attacked on either side. What should we do? I don't know. Francis won't join up with us. So we can't go alongside his army. I suggest subterfuge. We should attack from within. You think so? Yes. It's a genius idea, Rowena. We should start pouring soldiers in bit by bit. And then yes. when Francis attacks the South Gate, we attack the inner of the city. It's genius. Yes. It's a great idea, Rowena. Very well. I'll start divulging the forces 
to uh, to slowly enter Vecna under the guise of being civilians. That way they'll be left alone by Francis' forces at the south of the gate. Good. But it may be a long time before a siege happens, Rowena. A long time for us to get into place. Very true. Position ourselves high within the city. Excellent. You've solved a lot of problems for me, Rowena. Well, I suppose you should get back to the girl before anything happens. Yes, I will. Excellent. Safe travels, Rowena. You as well. All right. Distraction mission. <laughs> we heading back to Ratter? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, you make your way back to Ratter. You land in Beckettsdale. Or not Beckettsdale, Ratter. You land, okay. you're coming from Beckettsdale, my bad. <laughs> Talking fast to my mouth, can comprehend. <laughs> so, you land back in the city, and there seems to be something of a panic about the town folk. Um, uh, I stop someone and say, what's happened? Someone attacked the uh, Todrick soldiers by the warehouse. Two of them are dead. What? Yeah. There was a And I like immediately go to the warehouse and oh. even wait. Well, there she goes. <laughs> All right, yeah, so arriving at the warehouse, you do see two dead Todrick soldiers laid out front. And all of the other Todrick else? soldiers are outside at this point and they're sort of like looking around investigating the area, you know, that kind of thing. What's happened? Miss Rowena. We had no idea they were even inside. They just It happened so f quickly. What happened? They took the girl. And like, in this moment, her eyes just like glow and like vines kind of erupt out of the ground. Lady Rowena, please, <laughs> listen. Around listen. the soldiers. Listen, listen. What did you say? They took the girl, but we know who they were. Who? Cyprin Gorhart. The half minotaur, the advisor to the queen. Advisor to the okay. Darren now. Where did they go? They headed out of town, probably heading for Vecna. There was a woman. A woman with Cyprin. Blonde what hair, woman? blue blue eyes. Looked like a bandit. I see. The uh her she kind of relaxes just a slight bit from that information. They went by your house before they left town, ma'am. I see. Or at least the blonde girl did. Why were they allowed to get her? We didn't allow it, ma'am. They snuck in. She got her, didn't she? And the vine kind of like twists up around him. Just because they did it doesn't mean we allowed it, ma'am. We tried to stop them, as you can tell by the two dead soldiers here. They gave their life for that girl. How many soldiers are you? Logistics hardly matter, ma'am. We weren't alerted. I... And it kind of like squeeze a little. I did everything I could, ma'am. I will go to the house to see if I can find any evidence. And I, I like don't completely release him, but like, but it does loosen a little bit. And I go. Okay, sounds good. And you make your way over to the house. Yeah. There's a letter waiting for you. Hey, okay, I read the letter. And. I'm going to send you exactly what it says. Written on the letter, you find this. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of different interpretations. <laughs> yeah. Is it mocking? Is it friendly? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smiley face. <laughs> um... um. Okay, let me just look here for a second. That's probably someone's... I see. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to head after them. 
Okay. As best I, can. I was gonna say, uh, real quick, if you'd like, okay. uh, on your sending stone, there's a message for you. Okay. It's from Yuna. Okay. And you can kind of hear her say to you beforehand that she thinks there's someone in the building. Then you hear okay. a conversation between her and you hear who you can only assume to be Cyprin telling her that her family misses her and she needs to come home and she'll be safer there and safer with them. And you hear Yuna pretty valiantly tell them, no, I'm not going with you and nothing's going to make me Aww. come with you. You didn't hear Yuna get punched in the face <laughs> and scream. I think at this point, like, Vines, like, be basically tear the walls of the house yeah and like yeah it's like partly destroyed <laughs> yeah and then you hear you don't get choked unconscious <laughs> and you can hear eric's you can hear youngblood's voice at this point and go cypern what the fuck and then he cuts off okay and yeah i would probably follow as well as i could at this point okay so you've assumed they're heading for Vecna. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like, you can make your way. Uh, you can just make your way into the city. Uh, yeah. From there, you would assume they're probably in the castle. But I'll say that as you're walking through the city, you're suddenly, you feel a, a hand reach out to you and you go, Rowena. I look at who it is. It's Shanku. Shinku. Greetings. Does you seen Cyprin? Have you seen the girl? Come to the alleyway. I cannot see be seen talking with you. Yes. You make your way I to an alleyway. Alley. Yes, I've seen the girl. Is she okay? She's in the dungeon in Castle Covington. She's in the dungeon? Yes, Darren's having her re-educated. <laughs> the glow comes back in her eyes and she's like Calm angry. down, please. Cyprin. Or Rowena. I had nothing to do with this. It's all out of my control. Or I would have saved How the girl How can I get now. her out of there? Thank you. Safely? Yes, you safely. <laughs> I think that the moment that they realize she's being taken, she'll be killed. Where, Where is the dungeon located? A hundred feet below the castle. There's no outside access? No. They made sure of that. What do you suggest? I think you won't like what I suggest. Tell me. I think your best opportunity to save her would be during a siege. And even then, the destruction of the castle may kill her. I see. Yes. Why are you here, Shanku? Because I didn't want you to think that I pulled some kind of trick on you or yours. Well, I didn't think that. Good. And I kind of look at him suspiciously. <laughs> I didn't Not want anything now. to happen to this girl. Just like you. I can promise you they're not doing her any physical harm. The other kind is just as bad. It is. Trust me. It is. I know it is. She's resilient, though. She's strong. Who is it that is re-educating her? Well, it could be a myriad of people, but currently, um... I believe it's Salvador, Salvador de Grey. Salvador de Grey? Yes, he lives here in town. 
I may have happened to I may have happened to write down his address on a piece of parchment that blew out the window and he I see. hands you a piece of paper at this point thank you hmm. I wish you the best of luck Rowena please look for ways to help her I will try my best with a bit of luck I can get Darren to put her in my care have her squire for me Yes. That could work. I'll try to get her back to you. Thank you, Shinku. Of course. He walks off at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would she do right now? <laughs> that is what I'm wondering. <laughs> um... She's gonna... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. She's going to go to the address of Salvador. Mm-hmm. And she's going to scope it out in her raided form. All right. You do And so. I, would ass- I would hope to, like, wait till night for him to come home. Okay. You do so. Okay. And I'm going to wear my mask for this. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, first of all, what does he look like? So, Salvador de Grey is a 35-year-old male half-elf. Uh, he is a fighter. Stands about 5'1", smooth brown skin. Uh, diamond-shaped face. Uh, very short beard. Attractive. Uh, smells heavily of flowers, I'll say. Does he look very strong? Yeah. And is there anybody else in the house? No, it seems he lives on his own. Okay. Um, would I be able to make... Um, a tincture to make him fall asleep? Yeah, certainly. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do that Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then I'm going to wait till night and then I'm going to cast pass without a trace yep and sneak in alright I allow it and um basically give him the tincture while he's sleeping so that he'll he'll be like knocked out for a bit right okay yeah and then I'm going to take him into the woods. <laughs> okay. Is there woods around? <laughs> you'd have to take him pretty far out of Vecta to do it. But yeah, you'd also have um, to get the body past just... the gates. But I see. Hang on a second. You could go so, to a park, so what's maybe? around us immediately? It could be a park. The perhaps? park could work. Yeah. Yes, the park could okay. work. Okay. We head to the park in the center of Vecta. Okay. And I assume there's like nobody around. And is there, like, a tree I could die to? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to wait for him for a little bit to wake up. Okay. And he does so as he's like, where the hell am I? And I'm wearing my mask still, just so you know. Who the fuck are you? What is this? You are Salvador. I am. You are re-educating a girl? Yes. Fantastic with the what, job, I'm doing it. In what way are you re-educating? She's her? been poisoned by religious zealots. I'm freeing her from those binds. No matter the cost. How? What business is it of yours? I'd say... If you want to get out of here unscathed, you'll answer my question. However Darren requires it. The girl's lucky to be alive. And how does Darren require it? Any means necessary? Whatever I see fit? I see. And I take my... I think I would have a dagger. Mm Mm-hmm. Out. Um... (laughs) 
Do you have any thing else you'd like to say? You can't do this. I can. They'll just replace me with someone else. But I'd like to make a point, Salvador. You have no point to make. People already <laughs> think that you're but all batshit insane. Then they should be more careful. You won't and get I, away with this. I kill him. Ah! I like slid him down the middle. Ah! Fuck! <gasps> ah! <laughs> Unless he dies. And I'm gonna. This is the crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm playing a crazy character. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You are. <laughs> I'm gonna string him up in like the tree. And like. Put a little. Maybe antlers on him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as you know. I allow. It. Send a message. <laughs> mm -hmm. And maybe I'll write a little note and say, "Hmm." Um. Think about re-educating. Um, mm -hmm. Would you like my input? Yes, I would. <laughs> you could say, cease the re-education of Yuna Ashford or more will die. Um, it's an option. I'm just going to put re-education question mark. <laughs> okay. And that's it. I dig it. I dig it. Alrighty. Thus you've done All that. Alright. And then I'm gonna show. <laughs> And then what? And then I'm gonna wild shape into a raven and get out of there. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? Um Honestly, I think I'm just gonna live as a raven. Okay. If you'll allow it. That's kind of maybe cheating, but let me know. No, no, you can you can okay. just live as a raven. Okay. Just gonna hang out. Um, they certainly find the body the following day. Yes. Um, but I will say that for now, that's where we're going to end for today. Okay. <laughs> After I murdered somebody? Yep. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I did, you know, say that I'm not necessarily the good guy. <laughs> you, yeah, and you would not be wrong in saying that. <laughs> so... There you go. So, in and out of character, how are we feeling today? <laughs> well, in character, I think she's extremely angry and upset. But she feels a little bit better having released that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that. out of character, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes. For what? But, um, uh, well, just, you know being the bad guy well sort of a bad guy not necessarily a bad kind guy of bad but guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind funny. of yeah <laughs> not necessarily a great person <laughs> yeah um, yep so i'd say that's where we're at but hey. i do enjoy i guess being intimidating okay yes no i get that i get that you do it well you pull it off <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yes, yes.